party whether over Europe. It is very interesting since quite a while. And there is some activity pushing into the Central Europe or it is just keeping its position through maybe intensified electromagnetic activism. And uh, one really interesting thing is I have been making videos about that phenomena. I will put a link below. The first or one I found was six months ago. Where I have been talking that the weather patterns are changing directions. And in one point it almost even looked like that the South American magnetic anomaly or whatever it's total correct name is, seemed to be connected to the Mediterranean. And we have some earthquake activity going on here and now we have a connection from the equator through that place too. And there's a third one. And if you follow that, you will end up, it goes here, spins around and continues over here. And here are the Siberian traps, which is really interesting. The largest basalt flows on Earth, Siberian traps, and somewhere we have like ba Lake Baikal, the deepest and oldest lake in the world. Which is not visible. Where is it? Somewhere it has to be. Lensk, Mirny, Padoyo. Here it is. And that's a really interesting place. Because I wanted to show you something. Let's go over to Google Earth. Google Earth, Lake Bacal. Now we spin it around like that. And according to common geology theory, there might be glaciers having carved out this lake. But I found something which might contradict with it, this theory. Tetrahedrons. They are all over the place. Despite the quality isn't good. If you go closer, obviously, you can't see anything anymore, for whatever reason. So, this might be the site of a huge electromagnetic discharge event, because tetrahedrons are from shock waves, and shock waves are created most easiest by electromagnetic discharge events since the whole environment is heavenly ionized and gravity is bound to charge so if you charge everything up it will overpower gravity or what we earthlings understand about gravity 9.81 or what, what is it meter per second square or something I haven't been good at school. But anyway, Lake Baikal. And let's just zoom in somewhere and I will leave it here. Interesting world we are living in. And really beautiful. 
Yeah, we have to keep really an eye on the weather. I expect today here in Finland something going on too. Let's see how intense it will get. Actually, I could show you. If we zoom out. And there is something coming in. And it seems it takes cold air from the north. At the moment it's sunny. A little bit windy. But let's see how this will develop. I expect many of those clouds when they reach this region here, especially around here, they will start to dissipate. Because we have this seep shaped, oh, actually it goes until here. The surface conductivity anomaly, which is connected to the Korsk magnetic anomaly. I have been talking about this many times. There are many videos. You will find them. I already last summer made videos about the same thing. So it's positive charged. And in a way, what is coming in here is minus. And somehow it will repel it in a way. They will dissipate the clouds when they come over here. Let's just make an example of how to put it. Because there is a high pressure system locked in place and it's really strong. That's why it works repellent. Let's put wind and then we need the lines of the pressure. Let's see what we get. That's the situation at the moment. The high pressure system is here. Maybe I got to change color. Obviously it's here, but I guess it will wander around this place here. And as long as the low pressure systems, which are somehow moving here up and down, as long as they are strong enough to overpower the high pressure system, it will stay dry. Not 100%, but drier in the region here, or it could be even bigger. Because there are no clouds. Let's see where the high pressure system goes. It's here, one is here, and maybe it changes the place and goes to that region. And the other thing is there is a change happening in the patterns overall. Check it out, there's a high pressure system here now. Tuesday, a few days ahead. And of course, they are wandering around. They're not like really locked in place. Sometimes they can be really strong and they stay for a really long time. But now at the moment, there's so much stuff coming in from the Arctic. Check it out. All the air from the Arctic. Everything gets channeled. Some goes even to a the Americas, where it takes just a turn, gets loaded up with a little bit of warmer air and plunges back into Europe. Yeah, we are now so far into forecast 10 days that that's not really reliable. But anyway, nonetheless, there's a high pressure system approximately at the place where I'm talking about since quite some time. Really interesting. But I leave it here.
Thanks. Bye.